you alright lads, I'm back. Jordy Jedi is back after illness. I'm I'm sorry I missed maybe the last three, four days of episodes, you know, gaming wise. I apologize. But today we faced Hull City at the KC Stadium and we won three nil. John Cover's first proper match in charge, if you know what I mean. He's basically it's been decided he's gonna be the head coach until the end of the season. He wasn't temporary head coach, he's now properly head coach. Even though he's still temporary head coach as well. It's it's a bit big. He won 3 0. You know what? Some cre a little bit of credit does have to go to John Carver, but not a huge amount. Because it has has to be said, attacking the we didn't look as strong as perhaps the score suggests. But I'll get onto that in a moment. You know, started the game. Both teams, you know, Hull City don't have got Hull City have got a good defence and a shit attack. We've got a shit defence and a fair attack and you know, not a brilliant attack. So the idea was was that both teams were gonna be a bit difficult to push to push around it. It was it, it had nil nil written all over it. But and to and to be honest <coughs> sorry, the first forty minutes had that you know, it probably was gonna be nil nil. But, you know, eventually it became three nil. You know, Hull City had one or two chances, a little bit like their game against West Ham. They were on top for about 40 minutes. And when they got the chances, they didn't put them away. We were the opposite. When we got a chance, we pretty much put it away there and there, there and then. Maybe, you know, may, I'd say maybe five shots on target, three of them went in. So it was that kind of game for us. We just got, we were just clinical and a little bit lucky. Game went forward. There wasn't much to go on for the first 40 minutes. Hull City were in general on top, but there was more possession on top. It wasn't that, it, you know, they, they didn't look like a hugely like scoring. Neither did we. And then 40 mi about 41st minute, 42nd minute, Remy Cabela, he sort of, he jumps in the air, fights for it after a ball in from the left side. Uh, my guess was Hydara, I believe. You know, he jumps up, doesn't win it. You know, okay, you know, he's not going to win many headers. Drops, gets back up. Dodgy pass. Cabela wins it back. Takes it sort of, moves slightly to the left from the right-hand side. Left-footed shot. It was a bit of a curler. It went in bottom left-hand corner, and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful shot. As far as shots go. It was his first ever goal for Newcastle, certainly in the Premier League. And it was a really good goal. It was. It was a very nice goal to watch. And we were up 1-0. This came as a bit of a surprise. Came out of nowhere. Not necessarily against the run of play. But, you know, it was pretty... Apart from one chance beforehand, when Perez had got a header and it just went straight to the keeper, we didn't look like scoring. So we were up 1-0. Brilliant. Fucking good. Then, the free, I believe it was a free kick to Hull City. On the right-hand side. It was weird. You know, I personally, I'd, the referee did a very good job in the assistant referee of calling this, because to be honest, I thought it was a normal goal. Ball went in, went to, I think it was El Mohamedi. He, he sort of went Maradona-esque and his hand was up like that. He could have actually got to it with his head as well, which was the weird thing. He didn't have to do it. The ball went in pretty much right in front of Kuala and El Mohamedi. He hit it in. It was basically that part of his arm. He didn't actually have to. He could have gotten to it with his head, but he, you know, and the the horrible thing was, the na the nasty thing from him was that it was like it was Maradona-esque in the same sense as that he did it and then he went off celebrating as if he just scored an amazing goal. He fucking didn't. You know, I, to be honest though, at the time I thought it was a fair, I thought it was fair. I didn't see a handball myself, but so in the re seeing the replays actually was pretty obvious. It was just the camera angle I had was pretty distant. You know, Phil O'Dowd, he called for it. We, obviously, Newcastle were fighting for it. He called for it. He spoke to his assistant referee. Handball. And Mohamedi got a yellow card. Good. Then went in. Nil, nil, uh, what? Nil, nil. Uh, one nil. To us winning. And it was a good game. It seemed alright. It was interesting. We Something that I'll give John Carver credit for is that we're playing some nice football, as in passing-wise. You know, it's it, we've looked, we looked nice. It was nice to watch. Come out in the second half, no changes. Then, you know, I 
have to a nice bit of passing. Four ball falls to Sami Amiobi. Haidara goes on the overlap to drag the defender away on the left hand side, which was perfect for Sami Obi because he, Sami Obi, I've heard that before. The commentator called him Sami Obi and I loved it. Sami Amiobi takes a left footed shot 30 yards out on the left hand side. Boom! Bottom right hand corner, right in front, sort of pa across the front of the keeper. Went in two fucking nil. What a goal! See, that was some fucking goal to score for Sami Amiobi. He doesn't score a huge amount. You know, he scored that one against Tottenham in the first few minutes. In the first few seconds. This one was in the first few minutes of the second half. 2-0. We looked happy. As soon as we scored the first goal, you know, we looked a bit more confident. That was the thing we were probably missing. We did what both teams looked uneasy. Then the second goal went in and then we just sort of... We calmed down. You know, we relaxed a bit. And then and the game went on. Eventually, what happened was there was a, sh a shot put in. You know, Carlaccini first he got the deflection, which was a fair deflection, just to the left hand side of Tim Krul, who was in the goal. You know, he stopped him and then he tried to slice a clearance away and it nearly went back into the goal. Luckily, I think it was Anita headed it, got rid of it, but bloody hell, it was a close one. Look at him. Then, about maybe 75 minutes in, 75 ball thereabouts. Gufran got the ball on the right hand side. They just opened up for him a little bit. You know, he, he saw it on the right hand side, he, he slowly moved across to the centre. Left footed shot, it took a wicked, a, a dodgy, def a wicked deflection. Just to put McCarthy, was it McGregor? Mm. Just to put their goalkeeper off balance. Went in 3 0 and we looked happy. Then we, we sat back a bit, but not. Not inviting pressure onto ourselves, we just let them have the ball a little bit. I didn't like watching it. I th was because as soon as Cissé came on for AOC Perez, I thought we could have went for the four for four nil, but yeah, didn't happen. And then the game ended. In what was a fair game, I thought, it, especially the second half. The second half was a lovely game to watch from a Newcastle point of view. We even brought the Olays out, you know, which we Newcastle we don't do it. You know, it's not something we'll, we'll see very often and we were happy to see it. So credit to John Carver for that. He did play some nice football. Starting lineup was decent. You know, he brought in Cabela properly this time and Cabela did well. Good goal and some few nice touches. Perez didn't get on the score sheet, but he didn't have that many chances to get on the score sheet himself. Personally, I thought we could have passed him a little bit more, but, you know. And it was fair. Defensively, now... 3-0 suggests that defensively we were quite good, but it's very easy to be defensively good against a team that has a weak attack. So we're starting to see, you know, Williamson and Colaccini in particular, the centre-backs had a good game because they, they did and they didn't. You know, it was, they had a good game against shit attack, so it's, you know, dodgy. Hydara was brought in for Dummett, and actually Hydara had a good game. Kovac did well, Anita did alright after a shit shot. Sissoko was quiet, but he did a lot, really. It was he, you know, he was a team player today. He didn't go for glory himself all that much. He he did his job. Cabela, good game. Perez, good game. Sami Yobi, fair game. You know, it was all really it was a nice game to watch in the end. It's been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you can. It really helps. Subscribe for more videos. Look forward to the next video tomorrow. I am back to do doing daily videos. I apologise for the. You know, hiatus is because I was unwell and I hadn't planned for it. It came out of nowhere. I'd already had the flu. I thought I would have been fine for the year, but nope. And may the force be with you.